one, and. Hey guys, okay, so, I don't know why I always say okay, so, um, anyway, I managed to get a hold of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the collector's edition, and I don't really know what's inside. I just saw it and said, hey, I could probably afford that. I got enough point GameStop points. So here we go. Get my uh, trusty Master Sword here. And looks like I need to sharpen it. But then again, this is known as a Sword of Evil's Bane, and we all know Goku is anything but evil. So let's see what we got inside. Okay, so we have, looks like a steel case cover. And we have the game here, so we're gonna swap these out. I like the cover. And then just, like I said, of course, the game. Oh, we got something else here. And the, those that know me know I don't really like to destroy packaging. Unless I got an extra. And we got a book. Oh, nice. It says Game Art Book for Kakarot. English and Japanese. Oh, nice. So it's like kind of like a tree showing uh, everybody's relationships to one another. How they're all connected. So that's going to be interesting to flip through later. And I got a box within a box. This must be the statue I've been hearing about. I'm going to put this down. Oh, Okay, and it just says Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, not for individual resale. Hey, zombie buddy. Zombie found the box. And uh, he was playing with the box for a little bit. This is any tape or anything? Yeah, there is. Good thing I checked. Okay, that one is done so. So is that one and that one. Put quite a bit of tape on this thing. And that's done. Let's see what we got in here. More tape. Ooh. Wow. Okay, I have to admit, I was a little worried about using my GameStop points to get this. So much tape! And now, of course, like many of you, you've grown up watching Dragon Ball Z and all that. I remember when I was little, they actually played, they actually aired the Dragon Ball cartoon here in the US. And it they kept changing the time slot. It was hard to uh, to catch it when they when it aired. I even managed to play the old NES game. 
not realizing that that's that that was Dragon Ball until many years later. I'm trying to be careful here. Oh, got more tape down here. this thing off without breaking anything. <laughs> so we got the dyno. Nope. Doesn't look like anything moves. We'll lay him down because he's got a peg on his foot so he won't stand upright. And we got this, which I'm assuming... Yep. Goes back here. With Goku and Gohan on the Nimbus. Which I I'm pretty sure I'm not alone when I say I wish I had a Nimbus. And then here is the stand, where it all comes together. No. Okay. So it's got like a little town here, and above, of course, the, the mass wasteland. So this guy goes here, and I'm trying to be careful. Don't break on me. This is a round hole, but it doesn't fit there. Okay, let's set this down. Or you can just fall. There's a hole here, but... Oh, there we go. I had to force it in. And... There. Oh, and Gohan's got his little, uh, four-star on there. It's sad to four stars gone, but okay. So we got this set up. I don't think it looks like, oh, well, actually it does. Okay, so as he's running, they're flying by, waving and saying hi or bye to the guy. Okay, so yeah, it looks just like the boxes. We also have the art book. We have the game, the steel case, and I think that was everything. Yeah? That's it! So I'm gonna be streaming this uh, probably on Twitch or YouTube. So if you guys want to watch me play uh, Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, uh, just go ahead and look up Sasuke on either Twitch or YouTube, S-A-S-K-I-O-T. And uh, oh, if you guys miss the stream or don't want to watch and just want to watch afterwards, uh, I always upload them to YouTube, so you'll be able to see it here on YouTube as well. So thanks, guys, for everything. I'm sorry my uploads have been more sporadic than usual. I've been dealing with way, way too much stuff. Uh, lost my dad in January, lost my girlfriend in February, and it's been really hard to recover from this. I've actually had this sitting here for all, I don't even know how long, 
until I decided I was able to go ahead and do this without breaking down and crying. So... Yeah, well, enough, enough of that. So, like I always say, guys, be excellent to each other. And, if you have fur babies of your own, hug them, love them, and treat them like family. Because they most definitely are. See y'all in the next one.